it's really difficult to make consistent money on Clickbank without building a custom landing page or using an expensive software. Which is why most beginners start by using MailChimp to build their landing pages and that's for a good reason. It's simple, it's free and it looks pretty dang good. In this video, you will learn how to create one of these for your Clickbank offers for free and we are starting right now. Hi, I'm Winston the Solopreneur Warrior and in this video, we are quickly going to look at why it's important to have a landing page for your Clickbank promotions or any other affiliate promotion and how to create one using MailChimp for free. I'll also be sharing with you at the end of this video why I think MailChimp landing pages might not be the best way to go and I'll also be giving you my best alternative. But before we get into all that, I would like to know in the comments area below this video if you are already building an email list as an affiliate marketer on Clickbank. And if this is your first time to this channel and you're interested in tips and hacks on video marketing, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button and let's get started. You probably must have heard from top online marketers that to be able to make consistent money online, in this case as an affiliate marketer, people need to know like and trust you, right? You probably also know that marketers use custom landing pages to build that relationship of knowing, liking and trusting. Basically, a landing page can easily help you grow your audience and easily promote your Clickbank offers or whatever product you are offering. If you still do not know what a landing page is, actually it's a standalone web page created specifically for the purpose of marketing or advertising campaigns. There are actually two popular types of landing pages used by most marketers online. There is the content based landing page and the email capture landing page. Here are both types of landing page examples you can create with MailChimp. As you can see, one can't actually say that any of these MailChimp landing page examples are terrible. They are all at least pretty decent. Let's now look at how to create a capture landing page with MailChimp. Now, whether you're just starting out from scratch or you're bringing in existing contacts from other mailing services into MailChimp, your audience is where you store and manage all your contacts. The number of audience you can store in your account depend on your MailChimp plan. For the free plan, you are allowed to create only one audience. If you want to add another audience, you will need to upgrade your plan. MailChimp recommends that you maintain only one master audience and then use tags and segments to organize and target your contacts. So now, to get started, you need to create an account with MailChimp and the process is pretty easy and straightforward. When creating an account with MailChimp, they are going to ask you for some information to comply with the anti-spam practices and help you track your performance. It's that same information MailChimp is going to use to get your free audience plan started. So all you have to do next is to add or collect new contacts. So after creating your account on MailChimp, log in and click on the audience tab. Here is where you can add existing contacts from other mailing services or autoresponder tools or basically create a capture landing page to start collecting new leads which is what we want to do in this video. So click on that. Then you want to type in the name of your landing page. The name you type in here is for your personal reference and is not visible to the landing page visitors. In this case I'll just go with Clickbank Affiliates and hit the begin button below. Now, if you are creating a landing page for the first time on MailChimp, you might be prompted to accept some additional terms concerning the stock images used when creating the landing page templates on MailChimp. So before you can use the template, you must accept the additional terms. After accepting the additional terms, you will now be redirected to the landing page builder. Here you need to choose a template and start adding your content. Now, like I mentioned before in this video, some templates are specifically designed to collect subscribers or promote products, but you can always add a sign up form block or product block to any of the layouts. 
So to start designing a Clickbank landing page on MailChimp, for example, I will go with this grow your list template. The promo product template here is for product owners not for affiliates, so don't get it mixed up as I did in my first try. Remember these are all templates that have been tested over time and have proven to work effectively. So all you need to do is use the design, customize it to relate to the product you are promoting. A basic landing page that converts effectively needs to have a headline, the body or the offer and a call to action. So any other thing on the page is irrelevant. In this case, for example, I'm going to delete the logo element here because it's not really necessary and it's already occupying the first fold of the page. The logo is actually meant for those who want to grow their brands. But since we are not trying to grow our brand in this case, it's better to take it off. Now on the right side of the landing page builder here are elements you can choose from and use to build your landing page. If you want to add text for example, just click on the text element here and drag and drop it wherever you want it. In this case, since we already have a headline on our landing page, all I have to do is to customize it by clicking on the pencil edit icon here and this text editor will pop up on the right. You can now use it to edit your capture page headline. You can also add an image of the offer again by clicking on the image element, drag and drop it below the title and then upload the image. You can use the text area here to type in the benefits of the offer. If you are a YouTube affiliate, you can just embed a video about the offer and why people should get it. Now below is where your visitors are going to add their details to get the offer. Whether you are using text or video as your landing page body content, you always want to end up with a call to action, which is calling your visitors to give their details to get the offer. Now let's see how to edit this form area. First, you have two options to activate the first and the last name. You also have the option to change the text of the subscribe button. Now, after your visitors have given you their details, what will you want them to do or see next? This is where you need to make a personal decision because you can either choose to send your subscribers to a page with full information on how to get your offer or as some Clickbank affiliates do, send them directly to the Clickbank product page. So that would be a choice for you to make. If you choose to use a custom page with more information on how to get your offer, you will need to create an extra page because that is where you'll be sending those who subscribe to your list. Like I already mentioned, you can also add your product affiliate link here so that when your visitors subscribe to your list, they will be immediately sent to the product page. That also helps because the more people see something, the more they are likely to buy it. So after customizing and optimizing your landing page, save and close, then save and close again. Next is to give your page a visible title and select your page URL web link. Then save your settings and publish your landing page. Since MailChimp is already an autoresponder, you'll be able to collect subscribers and then later promote your Clickbank offers to the subscribers by sending them promotional emails since you now have their email address. So all you have to do next is copy the link and start sharing or promoting it on social sites. Now, although using the MailChimp landing page might sound like a good strategy, it also has its default. For one, most sites don't accept the URL link for your landing page on MailChimp, especially if you are trying to do some paid advertisement using that as your landing page. Plus the fact that you can never guarantee anything for a site that is hosted on another person's server, which is why there are many alternative tools out there which you can use to create better looking converting landing pages. The only problem with such tools is that they are expensive and are on monthly payments. Instapage for example is starting at 65 per month. On Bounce's cheapest essential plan starts at 79 per month. ClickFunnel starts at 97 per month and the list goes on. So, if you really want to take your Clickbank marketing serious or you want to grow your list and you are on a budget, Thrive Architect in my opinion will be the best tool to use. 
You can get Thrive Architect for a one-time fee of $67. This price includes a 12-month support with the option of renewing each year, but you always get unlimited updates. Alternatively, you can try the Thrive membership for $19 per month, which includes all current and future themes and plugins from Thrive. I'll be dropping all the links mentioned in this video in the description box below. So that's all I had for you on making landing pages with MailChimp. I hope it was helpful. If so, hit the like button below, share on your preferred social site and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another helpful video.